it's early morning and if you saw my kukri video um, you'll know that I use the devil's horn as a baseline for that video I've got some good chopping video with that knife So I figured, well, why not just sort of complete the testing with some splitting? So if you, if you saw that video, you'll also know that initially I had, I had that, that log out for splitting, um, but I never got to it. And so what I figured I'd come out here today is um, it's early morning. I'll start a fire, um, hang out by the fire a bit, burn that log, um, do some work. And so to that end, I've done a couple things here. Um, you can see I've got my... My, my different uh, my different tinder laid out. I've got my fat wood just in case. Oh, I've got some somewhat dried um, materials from my yard. Um, and then that's that's actually a real bird's nest. <laughs> I had a bird that was trying to nest up in our awning. Um, and so I got rid of that. So that's an actual real bird's nest. I'm gonna see if I can start a fire with the husky stuff at the base of the palm. And if not, I've got my fat wood and I'm gonna split this wood here, chop it up get a fire going, sit here for a couple hours and work. Now, because it's early morning, the sun's behind me, I hope that doesn't uh, give us any problems. I've got my devil's horn here. Uh, I don't know if I've called this out before. I've got my kydex sheath with leather attachments um, from Sergio Ortiz. Uh, these are great. The devil's horn is 80 CRV2. So I've actually decided not to go with a leather sheath with this simply because, um, you know, if it, if it gets wet, the, the Kydex is, is less likely to hold that water. Uh, but these attachments are great. I, again, the Devil's Horn, the, the, the Kydex attachment comes with a Baldrick rig, um, but you know, this is just, this is just a, nicer, a nicer setup. It comes with a ferro rod attachment, so I can stick my ferro rod in here, uh, take this out in the back country, and, and be good to go. Now this log is probably eight or nine inches in this direction maybe six or seven inches in this direction and I think I think I'm gonna split it this way maybe actually longer than that you can see there's not much distance between the end, either end of the devil's horn here Now, this is a big log to be doing this with, and I, and I may not have the brute strength to actually do it. Now that's splitting pretty quickly. Ooh, that looks bad inside. Wow. Yeah, termites have really gotten to this. Okay, this is some of the wood from the testing before. I've got these knots. Shouldn't be too difficult to go through. Seasoned wood <laughs> with a big knot to go through. <laughs> we 
maybe take one of these other pieces from my pile, get some smaller wood. I don't know if this stuff will catch, but if it doesn't catch, I've got uh, I've got some fat wood here. Well, it's catching a little bit, but I think it's going to be one of those things where. If I really want, if I, it's, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna light up. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's taking a... Yeah, if I wanted to milk it a little bit, it might, it might go up. We'll see if this goes up. I don't think it's dry enough, but we'll see. Nope, definitely not dry enough. So let's pull all this out. Let's get some fat wood. amber notch down but apparently not I had no problem with my uh, with my cave bear when I was camping oh that was close that's so strange okay well I gotta get to work, so let's try the spine. There we go. So I guess with the cave bear, I still, I mean with the uh, devil's horn, I still need to, whoa, that was too, that was too fast. <laughs> uh, I'm rushing, rushing things because I have to go to work. There we go. Let's see. Good, there we go. I'll splice in some of the, uh, the the chopping video that I did with the devil's horn, and you know that'll basically be it for um, uh, you know for my devil's horn in in use video. Um, not quite sure why I was having so much difficulty with the amber notch. I really thought I had it downed, but uh, I am rushing a little bit, so you know maybe maybe that has something to do with it. Anyway, no problems getting the fire to light off the spine. Um, ADC RV2, high carbon steel, you'd probably, uh, you know, you'd expect that. Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. Thanks for watching.
Okay. So now with this larger piece of wood, I am getting, you know, I'm starting to feel the reverb in the devil's horn. So. Even with all that pounding, some of it was right on the scales. And you know, you can see that the scales don't look any worse for wear.